Hello, everybody. If there's one thing that I know that you love, Mason, and also the people who watch these videos, it's when I find a bunch of insane reviews and then read them to you, and then you have to guess where they're from. Refresh my memory. Who loves this? Everybody except... No, everybody. Everybody loves it. Okay, right. Except who, James? Nobody. Every, okay. I, I was, couldn't think of a single person who would be against this concept. Now, normally, obviously, we have a topic, and the topic for this week is... Disney Plus original series. Okay. So it's not just things that happen to appear there or whatever. All right, you know okay, what I mean? Sure, they sure. have to be exclusively made for Disney Plus. Do Am I going to know all of these? Well, that's the are game. Some these, are some of these like Rock Camp or whatever? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I've got any uh, from the show Rock Camp. Okay. But obviously, if I did, I couldn't tell you. Well, that's true, isn't it? If yeah. people could leave a like, that would be great. Please mm. uh, play along at home if you want. There's I feel like these should be multiple choice, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. Great. <laughs> That's a failure of the system, isn't it? Not my fault if I don't get any of these. Yeah, I know. But also, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Okay, I'll just do that impossible task. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, are any of these Joker? I mean, I know it's not on the Disney Plus. Well, I couldn't possibly. It's, it's not in the I couldn't possibly obviously. tell you, obviously. Okay, right. But no, none of them are Joker. Some of them could be High School Musical, couldn't they? I'm pretty sure that. Are there any originals? I don't know. That's let's find okay, out. Right, let's right. find out. Ah. Okay, this is from Burger, who says the amount of kids faking did on TikTok is about to skyrocket. Oh, dissociative identity disorder. Moon Knight. Correct, Mason. There we go. I'd like to give you a, a, a good and fresh and easy one up top. That was a good and fresh easy one, yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw you another one right now. Is that what TikTok kids are doing? Are they always, they always copying 40-plus-year-old actor Oscar Isaac yeah, on TikTok? or they'll be, like, pretending to be arrested or whatever. Have you ever seen that? I, haven't, I don't have TikTok. I'm sorry. Fascinating, Mason. Uh, what about this one from David M? A show about an old man taking a space bath. Maybe he's thinking about his memories in sequential order. He's like, remember the time I... Oh, it's uh, the book of Boba Fett. Correct, Mason. (laughs) Oh, no, you're right. You know what it is? It's because I think of a Bacta tank as generally a vertical space bath. It's true. And and, and it threw me there for a moment. Okay. Yeah, Bacta tank is more like a plunge pool, you know, traditionally. Wow. This is from... More like the bloody book of Bougie (laughs) Fett over here. (laughs) Mr. Plunge Pool, whatever that is. This is from Will Harrison, who Mm. says, I watched five minutes saw the protagonist is a fan of Captain Marvel and turned it off. Oh, well, that would be the Disney Plus original series Ms. Marvel, I think. How could you go into that show and not know what it was? (laughs) I mean, by name alone, what did you think it was going to be? Mm. Anyways. Maybe they thought it was a spinoff of the marvellous Mrs. Maisel. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like these have been uh, been too easy as of so far. Oh, no, so here's one that's way too hard. Let's turn it up a bit, Mason. This one is by Owen, who says, starts off interestingly enough, statistically and narratively, but quickly devolves... Statistically? <laughs> they must have meant a different word, but all right. No, Mason. Oh, oh no. Stylistically and narratively. Oh, so you must have meant a different word. I must have meant a different okay, word, yeah. But quickly devolves into the exact same shit that Marvel's been churning out for years now. Nothing special in the slightest. Just another laughably futile attempt at doing something different with this cursed franchise. So Stans can mass tweet about how Scorsese was wrong, actually, for hours on end. And I thought Marvel couldn't get... More self-congratulatory. Wow. Mm, uh, but I'm going to say it's Loki. Ooh, great guess, but it's actually the show WandaVision, Mason. Oh, yeah, that was completely the same as all the other Marvel uh, properties, I think. That's what I remember about it. Mm. How's about this one from uh, Jacob Park, who says, More like the Beatles get fucked. If you're a casual <laughs> Beatles fan and don't really care about them as people like myself, then this is some punishing shit, watching these geezers fuck around for six hours in what painfully feels like real time. So here's the thing. This is, unless you unless this is some sort of incredible twist and, and this person has put this review under a completely different uh, title, this is the Beatles get back. Yeah. But... The fact that that is so obvious makes me think that that is actually your review of that series. And <laughs> I, that haven't, your, I haven't watched it, to be okay, honest. But has your, uh, has your uh, alter ego oh, I'll, re- I'll review. Yeah, okay. I'll review something I haven't watched. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, well, I think it's that. It is. It absolutely is. This is from Lisa L, who says, Wow, I hope Ep 2 is better. Gal is pregnant and working US Marshals? Forget the baby. Also, no seatbelt for her in car? This will be interesting for sure. Okay. Uh, (laughs) This would be a wild uh, Hail Mary if I pulled the title of whatever this is. But it's about a woman who works for the US Marshals. Yeah, I guess. Uh, You guess. I mean, yeah. Okay, and she's pregnant. She doesn't wear a seatbelt. I mean, 
she should wear a seatbelt, I think. I completely agree. Okay. I'm going to say it's a spin-off of the uh, the movie US Marshals, which in <laughs> itself is a spin-off of The Fugitive. That's a terrific guess, but it's actually the 2021 Turner and Hooch sequel series not starring Tom Hanks. Oh my goodness. How did you not they get that? Yeah, they made that. They made that for a season probably. They made that for a season. And they had probably. to release the whole thing because it's on Disney Plus, but if this were a network show, they would have just Released two episodes and then socked the rest away for the end of time. I completely agree. What about this one from Robert B? What if someone made a show with terrible animation and storylines no one wants to see? Okay, so it's animated. Mm-hmm. And storylines. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good pickup, actually. I think it yeah. might be What If. It is What If. Yeah, okay, there we Very, go. And, and What If Someone, like that's what how What If Someone review. did that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's actually, didn't even notice that, yeah, yeah. You are doing exceptionally well. Stop adding more in. That's I'm not. I'm literally not. Okay, all right. I'm shuffling them around a bit, okay, but I, right. I am not adding okay. more. This is from Peter K. Terrible. Inconsistent. Shit. This... <laughs> <laughs> this These are mean. Are this, is this a Rotten Tomatoes review? Just uh, This one is, yes. Okay, yeah. They're, where they're allowed to be meaner, I guess. <laughs> the story is useless. Don't give a shit about anything other than that Gina Carano is hot and I wouldn't mind knowing what's up with Baby Yoda. Other than that, no interest. Ridiculous combat and time frame fallacies too. On the plus side, armor looks cool. But cool armor, not make a good show, I say. Wow. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Is that a review of a WWE uh, <laughs> with the, season? With Baby Yoda, yeah, is With it? Baby Yoda, no, it's The Mandalorian, right? That's, or wait. No, it is. It is. Well, it could have been The Making of The Mandalorian. It could have been The Making of The Mandalorian, sure. But it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is from Bridget who says, so boring and pacing issues and incest and not yass. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> not yass. Mm. Well, that's a shame. If <laughs> you, you want something, you want yass. something that's yass. I can't look. I'm, I, haven't, I haven't fully explored the Disney Plus library, but I don't recall anything with incest in it. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing I can think of is like it's a, it's a Star Wars, but it glisses of Luke and Leia. Oh, yeah, fair point. But I don't think it's that. Would you like to give up? Yeah, I'd love to give up. Okay, done. This is Loki. Oh, I, oh, I see. I it's see more you're... self-sessed. You know, yeah, it is, people, isn't it? Yeah, I believe okay. that's what, uh, All right, what's okay. been happening okay. there. Yeah. What about this one? I'm not going to give you the name of the person because that will give it away. Oh. Uh, but here we go. It's like they took a shit on years of amazing writing and artwork and then ate that shit with everything else and then vomited them up and then ate that vomit and shit it out and then All ate right, it. All right, get to the end. And sucked off Kevin Feige. <laughs> He won't <laughs> care about the shit breath because he clearly doesn't have standards. And then they took all Ron the tomatoes? Sh- and no. Oh wow! And then they took all the shit and vomit and everything else and fed it to the MCU stands, who are just Disney adults. And then they loved it. Wow. Okay. So this is so so this is Marvel based. Yep. Obviously. And it's a years of amazing writing and artwork. Hawkeye. Moon Knight. Oh, we're moving out again. Okay, great. I didn't say we weren't doing things twice. No, that's true. That's uh, true. That was actually rewatched by Moon Knight fan. <laughs> so that's fascinating, isn't it? That's wild. <laughs> I know. He's a, Moon, he's a fan of the comic books, I guess. Assume, presumably. Presumably. <laughs> this is from Victor C. I hat Babby Yotta. He suck and bit. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> he suck and bit. Yeah. Uh, look, it could be the episodes of Book of Boba Fett that he's in. Yeah. I'm going to say it's The Mandalorian again. It is The Mandalorian. Okay, right. Great work. Uh, Jack- I mean, that's all around good writing, and he gets his point across. Oh, exactly. We knew what it was. Yeah. yeah. Spelling is just a state of mind, you know what I mean? Completely agree. Yeah. And a series of letters. Yeah, and together in a correct sequence, an yes, absolutely yes. correct sequence. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is from Jay who says, While still too early to tell, I didn't enjoy what I've seen so far. I don't understand the reasoning for rebooting shows that were already great, only to make them mediocre. Is it Turner and Hooch again? No, this was the Prouder family, Louder and Prouder. What? It's a reboot. Okay, <laughs> of the original Prouder family. <laughs> yes, that's or right. Or the original Louder and Prouder. <laughs> wow. One of those. Is that a reality show? No, it's an animated series, Mason. Oh, I good looked for them. Up. This is from Edwin K. Nothing makes any sense. Never seen such lazy writing. Everything happens just because the writers want it to happen. I mean, that's a show, though, isn't it? Like, it sure is, <laughs> in yeah. In general, gosh. that's how that's how shows are. Wow, nothing makes any sense. What recently hasn't made a lot of sense? <laughs> I wonder if it might be Obi-Wan Kenobi, because a lot of people have said recently that that show doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I couldn't make sense of it. Well, look, absent any other options, I'm going to say that. You're correct. Yes. Wow, Mason, this is very impressive. I think you've gotten to the mind of 
the internet. The people, oh no, <laughs> this is the one place I didn't want to go. I had to go to a mountain retreat after this and not speak for a month. Absolutely. This is from Riley who says, absolutely fucking abysmal. A truly grueling five hour plus nightmare of the righteousness. Of How the- many hours, sorry? Uh, five hours plus. Okay. On the righteousness of centrism and foreign policy. Oh, Falcon the and Winter Soldier. E- Let me Fal- finish. It's Falcon and Winter Soldier, but The right. weird expressive nature of comics dulled and bastardized into <laughs> endless scenes of grey military men discussing which concrete building they will enter next with some typically incomprehensible action thrown in the mix, etc. and so on. Imagine being lectured on world issues by a series so openly beholden to the military. I never want to think about this shit again. I didn't like WandaVision, but goddamn, if this series' main goal wasn't making me look back more fondly on that mess, then my God, did it excel. Mm. Uh, Are are we all done? Yes. Falcon and Winter Soldier, specifically the West Wing speech at the end. (laughs) (laughs) Haven't you seen the West Wing? we got to work together like the show The West Wing. Mm. It was powerful. It was very powerful. How about you listen? (laughs) To each other. Now I'm leaving. I'm going to fly away. <laughs> uh, I can from- do that, you know. <laughs> I'm the Falcon and Captain America. Both. This is from Gabriel, who says, not quite my tempo. That's it? That's it, yeah. Okay. Two uh, stars. Huh. Well, that's that's uh, famously a line from the movie Whiplash. Mm-hmm. So is this J.K. Simmons related somehow? Oh, who's to say? What would you think tempo? What would that be in relation to? Oh, time. Well, no. What would Music. you... Music. There we go. Okay. okay right. <laughs> Rock camp. That's a great guess. No, let me think. Not the Beatles again, I don't think. Mm. Uh, no, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, it's High School Musical, colon, the musical, colon, the series, colon, the special. Son of a bitch, my old arch nemesis. <laughs> no, this is a new show. Oh, it's a new one. I'm a new arch nemesis. These are new shows, Mason. That's terrific. Good for them. How's about this one? Uh, from Finn Bell, who says, People are writing this concept off way too quickly. I think it's a very interesting idea. I hope the execution is there. Very good idea. But it's execution, you know what I mean? Mm. It's not just about the idea. No, that's very true. It's about doing the idea in a way that people think is good. Is it the high school musical thing again? It's not that, no. Interesting, all right. What's an? Has there ever been an interesting idea? There's never been an interesting idea. That's what idea. I'm thinking. That's why this is I so mean, curious this to me. I mean, this video concept is incredible. Very interesting. This is the only interesting idea. And it's very true. I didn't steal it from BuzzFeed. Mm, I think it's Joker. It's Joker folly adieu. <laughs> It's the sequel, Mason. I'm counting that as a win. I don't care who counts. I don't oh. care whether I get a point or not. I forgot to add, uh, this is also in the review, at least it's something different, and this is coming from a guy that, who doesn't like musicals and didn't want a sequel. That probably would have helped. Would have, certainly would have helped, yes. I've just realised I... You, I should have read that out. What happened there is you withheld crucial information. But again, I'm still counting that as a win. I don't no. care. I don't care. I don't care what Matthew puts there. No. Although he could put a point. <laughs> this is from Walter, who says disturbing levels of violence for a children's show primarily shows women unleashing brutalizing violence on men in prostrate positions. Ends with the young hero sending her mom to jail. It's a Merry Christmas, JK. They say holidays. <laughs> from the good old folks at Walt Disney. What on earth? Because <laughs> you can't say Merry Christmas anymore. Yeah, you have no, to say, true, yeah. have a happy... Uh, Non-denominational uh, yeah. holiday occasion. Otherwise, Joe Biden will put you in jail. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Is this Home Alone? As soon as you know it, you'll be like, oh, absolutely, how did I miss that? Oh. Uh, no. Hawkeye. Oh, I mean, there are women beating up men. And sure. it is, a, it is a merry, it is, oh, I nearly said Merry Christmas. You can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that Because Joe again. Biden will put me in jail. That was right in front of my face. Yes, it I, was. I can, only, I can only blame myself and you. The, oh. the way you said those words. <laughs> and the last one. Uh-oh. Did you think we'd get here? What, did I think that this would go forever? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. I did, but we've made it somehow. <laughs> Unless I stall on this one for all eternity. Could happen. Then we're both trapped in hell. That's right. This is from Molly. Awkward writing followed by awkward acting. The overall show idea is good, but the plots of each episode are clumsy and do not come together well. I do not find myself rooting for any character, especially not John Stamos' character. Hoping this show (laughs) does not get renewed. John Stamos' character? John Stamos is is character in the show, I believe. Huh. Full House reboot? No, this is the show Big Shot. Where he coaches a basketball team or something. Wow. Yeah. Well, you took a big shot there, assuming that I would know what this was at all. (laughs) Incredible. I just thought you'd be so swept up in the magic of Disney Plus that you would have seen all the show. No. No? No, no, no. Wow. Anyways, tally up the score, Matthew. What did you get? Incredible. And add the extra one for Joker. Mm, just I'm going to add it. I'm going to watch this later and add it myself. In the comments. That's right. Uh, If you have an idea... 
for what you'd like Mason to guess. Mm. Uh, g- give me a topic. You know what I mean? I yeah. can't. I don't know if this one was a suggestion or not. I cannot remember. But if you did suggest this, thank you very much. If you didn't, pull it, yourself up by your bootstraps. Exactly. You know, suggest a topic. That's right. A lot of people also suggested that, Mason, that you uh, mm. read the reviews. But, of course, that would involve either you doing research or somebody sending you a complete list. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. You can do that, actually, at Wikipedia Brown. That's true. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. Also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. comes out every Monday. And if you'd like to hear that early, plus bonus podcasts, plus movie commentaries, plus early videos, head over to bigsandwich.co. It's our Patreon service. Isn't it, Mason? Yes. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you on, the, on another time video. And you'll be here, and we'll know, because the, the, there'll be a... Like, the number will go, will go up. Number, yeah. That's the only important thing on the internet, the it, number go up. Exactly. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. And goodbye. Goodbye.